Hi everybody, it's Emily from The Social Animal. A lot of people have been asking me to recreate the video I made last year showing you how to put a donate page or any other kind of custom content on your Facebook page. They asked me to recreate it because when I made that video, Facebook hadn't implemented the new timeline layout for pages. So now, uh, even though most of it pretty much works exactly the same way, it just looks a little bit different because of the new Facebook design. So I'm gonna remake this video and show you how to do that with the timeline layout. So what I'm going to do is teach you how to install an application on your Facebook page that will allow you to put in any other kind of custom content. So a donate page, uh, um, bring in a page from your website, uh, a kind of introduction page telling about your organization, um, you could put a form, application, display adoptable animals from PetBinder, really any kind of content you want you could put it on your page in, using this application. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Also, I wanted to let you know if this is, is too complicated or if you want some additional features, uh, I can do this for you for a one-time fee of $97 if you wanted me to do that. But I'm going to show you how to do it here. So if you need to stop the video, just follow along and we'll, we'll go through it. Okay, so first of all, you want to make sure that we're talking about a page here. This will not work on a personal profile or a group, so you want to make sure that you have a page. And the way that you can tell if you have a page is a couple of ways. Uh, if you have a page, you'll have a like button right here, or if you're already a fan of it, of your own page, it'll say liked. Um, if you say, if you have friends, you have a profile. If you have fans, you have a page. Also up here in the URL where it shows your page's address, it'll say facebook.com slash pages if you have a page. So you want to make sure you have a page, otherwise nothing on this video will work for you. Okay, so you want to be on Facebook and you want to be logged in uh, to your account that is an administrator on this page. So we're going to install an application onto your Facebook page and the application we're going to use is called Static iFrame Tabs. So go up here to your search box and start typing in a Static iFrame Tabs. Now there are a lot of different applications as you can see that, that are use Static iFrame Tabs. The one we want is this first one that comes up here uh, that's called Static iFrame Tab. Um, that's what it's called. You know, it's just called Static iFrame Tab. Some people keep asking me, what's the name of the app? And that's the name of the app. I guess it's kind of like who's on first, but that's what it's called. Uh, if you need to identify it, it's the one that has about 4,300,000 monthly users. So you're going to click on that and that'll take you to this application. And then it's going to walk you through some stuff here. So it's saying add a custom page tab to your Facebook page. And you get some different uh, options here. By the way, this is a totally free application. Scroll down here on the bottom. If you want to follow the instructions for setting up your own app with a custom icon, you can do that. Uh, that is way more technical and you have to actually create a Facebook application yourself on the Facebook developer platform. So I'm not going to go into that, but you can do that if you want. They also have a new application. If you use Pinterest, you can put your Pinterest um, feed on your Facebook page. So that's something else you can do. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to click on this green button that says install page tab. Now it's going to ask you to choose the page you want it to be on. Now I administer a lot of pages so I have a long list here but you may only have you know one or two. So I'm going to choose my animal shelter that's the kind of the dummy page that I work with. So I'm going to select that. You can select more than one if you want to put it on multiple pages at one time. So then I will click on add page tab and it's going to take me to my page with this particular tab on it. It defaults to welcome, so that's what it's called. So what you're seeing right now is just a that particular page on my profile, and obviously there's nothing there yet because I haven't put anything there. Um, it will load up here with some different options. So enable timeline wide mode. Now since Facebook has enabled this timeline, your Facebook pages can be a lot wider. So the custom content that you put on your Facebook page can actually take up the whole width of your page and not just the narrow box that it used to have. But you can choose to keep that narrower if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and click enable because I want it to be wider. Um, I'll go into this in just a minute to changing the tab uh, image. You don't need to worry about anything here. And then here's where you put in the content for your page. Now as you can see you can choose a URL. So if you wanted to bring in a URL from your own website, for example, if you have a donate page or some content on your own website that you wanted to just display here, you could just paste that URL right there. Just click that and paste in the URL and it would display it there. Um, I'll show you kind of what that would look like. Let's use google.com for example. 
all this stuff, this only applied back in the old days when you used to be able to fan gate a page, which meant you could show different content to someone if they were a fan or weren't a fan. You can't do that anymore, so pretty much just ignore that. Then you can choose a tab name. We'll leave it as welcome right now, but we can change that. Okay, so I'm going to save this just so you can see what it looks like to pull in a URL from another website. Um, the Google homepage will work fine, um, but if it's your own website, it may not look as what you think it will look like because you probably have a sidebar and a header and stuff like that on your on your website so it's not going to quite look the same. So I'll show you what I mean. Now it says settings have been saved so I'm going to click on view tab. I want to see how it looks. So as you can see it's just going to load up this uh, Google home page here. Hopefully that's what it will do. I've got a little bit of a slow connection today. Um, Okay, so I guess it didn't do that. Maybe Google's not letting us bring that in. But at any rate, experiment with that. You can bring in any kind of different URL that you wanted to. Um, you can also have it redirect. So if someone clicks on, on that button on your Facebook page, they'll automatically go somewhere else. I don't recommend this because when people are on Facebook, they don't want to be taken out of Facebook unless they choose to leave Facebook. So if you if you have this go automatically to your website or something, you're taking them out of Facebook and they're in Facebook, they don't want to leave. So try to, the point of using these tabs is to allow them to do all the stuff on Facebook that they want to do. Look at adoptable animals, fill out a volunteer form, donate to you, you know, whatever they're doing, they want to be able to do that right inside Facebook. So don't make them leave. You can also uh, put in an image here if you have just a picture that you want to display. Maybe somebody made an ad for you that has text and graphics that they put together. You can just upload that photo here and display the photo right there. So that works as well. Um, what you're most likely going to do though is a combination of HTML here. So if you know HTML and you want to copy and paste here or someone else has created it for you or you have a, you know, a form from somewhere else, you can go ahead and just paste that here or you can click on this link here This is editor and this gives you a little bit more of a user-friendly interface. These are probably buttons you're familiar with seeing from um, programs like Microsoft Word and stuff like that. Go ahead and click on the corner of this box to drag it and make it a little bit bigger. That might help uh, help you when you're viewing it. So here basically you can create any kind of content you want. You know, um, welcome to our page. My name is Emily. So you can put some text here, you can change your uh, your font and your size, you know, just make it look however you want it to be, change the color. You can put in pictures. Now the thing about the pictures here, click on that icon right there that looks like a picture. That's going to allow you to upload a picture and it'll pop up a, a box here. Now the thing is, you've got to have a full URL path for your picture. So that means that the picture has to be hosted somewhere. It can't just be you're not going to be able to browse on your computer and find it. So if you don't know what that means to have an image hosted somewhere, um, this may be a little bit advanced for you. If you have a site, if your ho website is hosted with say WordPress or something like that, you can upload a photo through the media uploader on WordPress and just copy that full URL path. And what that means is it's not just, you know, um, cat.jpg, it's www. Uh, mywebsite.com slash cat.jpg. It has a full hosted URL path so that picture is sitting on the web somewhere. It's being hosted. So if you have a picture like that um, you can, um, I've got some saved in there, write a description. You can decide if you want it aligned to the left of the text or the right of the text. Um, you can specify the dimensions if you want it to be smaller or bigger, give it a border, create some space around it. So you have a lot of options here with the photo, but it does have to be a fully hosted image. I'm going to cancel that so I don't actually have a picture. Okay, so uh, basically here, you know, you can put text, you can put pictures, all kinds of stuff. Um, when you're finished, scroll all the way down here and just click Save. And now we'll preview that and see what it looks like. If you're not sure whether it saved it, if you don't see the page kind of refresh like it did, you can scroll back up to the top and it'll say in this yellow box, settings have been saved. Now I'm going to click on view tab again so I can see what I've got. 
kind of preview it. So I see what I typed in there. Now this gray area here, this is only going to appear to you because you're an admin. So anyone else who's not an admin on your page won't see this gray box. So don't worry about that. It's just there for you. Everybody else will start it here, you know, where it says welcome to our page. So now let's see how this looks on the main part of our page. So to navigate back there, we go up here. This is kind of like your navigation for, for Facebook now. So if you click back on My Animal Shelter, that'll take us back to my main Facebook page. So you can see here, now this is the area that we have now on in the new Facebook timeline that we can customize. So basically your Photos tab always stays here. You can't take this away and you can't change it. It's just going to show whatever the latest photo is that you've uploaded. Get your like box, something else here, and then you've got a fourth box that you can put something in. So basically you've got three boxes here. One, two, and then another one. I don't have any content there so you don't see it. But those are the areas that you can customize with with three different pages of whatever content you want. So it's given the default icon here, which is the little spotlight things, and the default title, which is welcome. Now you can change both of those things. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. Um, to change this icon, I'm going to click on that application. And if you want to go back in and edit it at any time, you can just click on the application and it will take you there to the page and click on settings. So that goes back into edit mode. That's how you get to where you edited it. Okay, so to change that tab image, you've got the option to do that right here. Now notice it says that the the graphic you upload needs to be 111 pixels by 74 pixels tall. So you'll need to create an image that is that size. If you have another image that's not that size, it'll just kind of squish it to fit and it's going to look sort of weird. So you might want to make sure to make an image that's that size. So once you've got that image ready, click on Change Tab Image and you're going to browse on your computer to find that. So I've got a little folder where I've got one of these ready, so I'm just going to choose it here and uh, we'll just use this for example. So I chose it and now uh, there it is. So You actually won't see the picture itself which is a little bit weird but just have to kind of go with it. So I'm going to go down here and click Save Settings and then we'll go back and preview it and see how it looks on the page. Okay so it kind of did the little bounce thing so we know it's saved because I see this here. So I'm going to click here again on My Animal Shelter go back and see how that looks. Okay, so now it's got my icon. So as you can see, this can be anything you want. It can be a dog, it can have words on it. You can make that graphic anything you want it to be. So that lets people know, oh, okay, well, I want to subscribe, or I want to adopt, or I want to donate, or whatever you want to put on that. Um, so now let's, let's see how to change this text that's right here. So I'm going to go back into the app by just clicking on it and opening this tab here. I call them tabs because a long time ago, you know, like a year ago in Facebook, they used to have tabs across the top of the page and so we still kind of call them tabs just out of habit. Alright, so I'm going to click on settings again to go back into this settings area. So the place where you uh, determine what that text says is down here at the bottom. and see it says tab name right here. So right now it says welcome and I can change that to whatever I want. So I'm going to change it to free subscription or again whatever you want it to be. You don't have very much room so you don't want to make it too terribly long. So now I'm going to say save settings and it will go back to the saved page here in just a moment and then I'll go back to the top click on my link here to go back to my page and so now you can see that it says free subscription. Let me show you a couple of other different uh, webs, uh, Facebook pages that have this. Um, the first one is um, the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. I created their Facebook page. As you can see uh, their Facebook page looks a lot better than that one I was working on. <laughs> so uh, they've got you know a nice cover photo and then they've got their photos here which like I said you can't change that it's just going to show the last picture that you uploaded which in this case was their cover photo. But then I made these icons for these three different things and they have the adopt a pet so if you click on that you will see uh, the different listings of the pets that they have for adoption. And this can pull in an, our uh, feed from PetBinder, Batango, whatever you use. So that's what they're doing there. I'm click this to go back to the main page. They've also got um, 
upcoming events and give now. So in their case, what we've done on the give now page, they use uh, a, an external system to accept donations. So we've just brought in that URL uh, inside this application here. So you can just see that it it's it's bringing in that page. Well, it looks like you caught me at a moment when my dogs are barking. <laughs> so. That's what happens when you work at home sometimes. Okay, so anyway, that is how you do it, basically. Um, I'm going to go back to my animal shelter. So, you... Of course, as you know, I'm, I haven't done very much uh, customization of this page at all. I just see, um, you know, I've just done basically the, the stuff that I've worked on. So um, that is how you put a custom application on your Facebook page. So once you've installed that, you can put any content in there that you like. Um, if you have trouble with that, post a link on on this blog post and I'll try to help you in the comments. But this is updated for the Facebook timeline layout and that's how you do it.